I am a strong black woman. Beautiful, independent, confident, affluent, but distinctly alone. I've got the nice house, I've got the flash car, I've got all the money in the bank I need, I can buy the clothes I like. I travel whenever I can. The only thing I don't have is a man. I'm tired of going out with the girls and driving myself back home, opening the door to an empty house, crawling into my empty king-sized bed. Instead of having someone to come home to, or better still, come home with, but instead, I live in solitary confinement, a prisoner of my own success. I need a man, not just any old man, but a strong black man, someone I can relate to culturally, intellectually, spiritually, and of course, physically. I'm looking for a brother who won't be intimidated by me. I don't need a man who needs me more than I need him, but I do need a man who's patient, loyal, and loving. I'm looking for a brother who is fully melanated, with his melanin fully activated, speaking truths about our history, or should I say his story, so he can teach it to the youth in all its glory, of the way we built empires and began civilizations, developing astrology, numerology and various other sciences, from the art of writing on the walls to the healing arts of massage, yoga and meditation, so that they can grow tall and strong too and remember who they are. Royalty, coming from a dynasty of kings and queens, builders of the great pyramids, black scientists and inventors, emancipating them from the mental chains handed down to them through their DNA by the slave master, causing them to mistrust, hate and kill each other, not realising that they're stabbing and shooting their own black brother. Yes, that's the kind of man I want. One who knows where he's coming from, where he's going and everything in between. I need a man who knows how to take control in a situation without dominating, if you know what I mean. And I want a man who can handle me because I ain't easy. Yes, I know I'm hard work, I admit it. But the one who cracks the nut shall eat of the fruit in it. And talking of fruit, I want a man with a fruitful mind. Please someone tell me where on this planet I can find. A brother who knows how to turn his dreams into reality. A master of alchemy, turning the gold in his mind into gold in his hands. He's got to know the laws. I'm looking for an extraordinary man. See, an ordinary man just won't do. I'm looking for the man I can join my mind to. Someone I can build empires with, first in our imagination and then bringing them into manifestation. I heard that good things come to those who wait, but I don't know. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and I'm still waiting. I know what I'm looking for, but the problem I'm having is I keep seeing bits of my king in him and him and him and him. But I'd like to get everything in one package or is that just a dream? I need a man. A real man, not a make-believe man or a fly-by-night man or married man or a booty call man. I'm looking for the man who's going to stand beside me through thick and thin. I'm not interested in the man who thinks it's his job to offer his service to all the single sistering. One minute he's here, next minute he's off again because he's doing the rounds. That type of man is just not on my level. It's best he stays with those women who like sleeping with the devil. I know my worth and any man I have to fight for isn't worth fighting for. I feel sorry for the brother who has to deal with me when I break my celibacy. But first, we must pass the six-month test. Yes, don't think you're going to just flex with me. Before we get down to any business, I want to know your whole history. Past, present and future. Because I'm fed up of jumping into relationships thinking I've met the one. Only to find out six months later that, oh no, my time with this brother is done. In the beginning, we thought we had so much in common, but it wasn't long before the cracks began to show and we began to grow apart. And before you know it, my heart just wasn't in it anymore. So this time, I'm taking my time. We've got to get to know each other properly before getting all emotionally involved to see if we're really compatible, whether we'll stand the test of time. That's it. Just be friends. Have fun together. And you know, it is possible to have fun without having sex. 
And if he can't wait six months, that means he's got no control over his physical body. And if he can't control his body, he's not the one for me. I've collected enough X's. Now I'm looking for the one I can spend the rest of my life with.